So the Surfs tweeted a video earlier today. I this just made me smile. I don't really know what else to say about it. Um and I don't know if this is actually happening now. I don't know this could be any time within the last like 3 years for all I know. But apparently Alex Jones for no apparent reason <laughs> has now purchased llamas. Are they llamas? I think they're llamas, but I'm not exactly sure. He's purchased them and brought them in studio. You've seen Alex Jones for years tell you fluoride and tell you about Jeffrey Epstein and tell you about the New World Order and fish infusion and artificial black holes and strangeless and superconducting super colliders and other systems like cyclotrons. But you've ignored that because it's just all background. But now that I have llamas, now that I have the secret weapon, this is amazing. Here you go, my sweetie. Uh, Poco, which, which, which one's the really... Poco's the big one. Poco seems like, can we get a close-up of Poco's face for TV viewers? Poco looks like it's kind of in master control over here. Is this just Poco? Poco, how you doing? Come on here, sweet sheet. Can I give you a cookie? Can I give you a cookie? Oh, come on, you want one of these. There's no fluoride in this. Because they don't want to brain damage you, so the government didn't put that in there. Come on, you want, want this? You, you, you don't trust? Have a, oh, a cookie. Why do you think they're tripling and quadrupling down on hoaxes? What do you think their end game is? Because it's only discrediting them more, but they keep doing it. I mean, let's. I mean, if we're going to go full public, full transparency, let's see all of it. Because I guarantee you, what the Democrats were doing was criminal, Im impeachable activities routinely. Hey, where do the llamas like to be petted? On the neck. On the neck. Okay, you're good. Oh, <laughs> I got a friend now. Hey, you give your llamas fluoride? Hell no. We don't give them fluoride. I mean, that's something that really sinks in for people. Sweden undergoing demographic experiment of historical dimensions. This is, uh, do they have psychic powers or something? Or this is just an amazing moment. You know, I don't mind the llama in the background. That did calm them to see the great master llama. Do I have even the slightest clue as to why he did this? No. <laughs> Not even a little bit. No idea. None whatsoever. Purchased llamas, brought them in studio, is doing segments with them there. I can't even think of like a theoretical, like bullshit reason as to why he would do it. I mean, honestly, his is his show just like a long troll job? <laughs> Did he, was he never serious this entire time? Was the entire Alex Jones show from the beginning like, we're just, I'm just going to troll you, just going to do some sarcastic... I'm, this is just sarcasm, the entire thing. I'm just messing with you. It's like, um, it's it's almost like, uh, I think it's the Andy Kaufman thing. What's that movie with Jim Carrey? I think it's Andy Kaufman, right? He plays Andy Kaufman. Like, is that what this is? Like, is this just... He's been messing with us all along? Because usually there, there are clips I've seen of Alex Jones where I'm like, oh no, he looks unhinged and it's terrifying. And if, and if at some point that dude ends up doing a mass shooting, not a single person would be like, wow, that's wild. Everybody would be like, yeah, kind of saw that one coming. But for some reason, it just, he doesn't, he doesn't appear angry or deranged there. He's just like, hey man, got some llamas. <laughs> Messing around with my llamas? Having a good time, bro. Having a good time. I like the beginning. Hold on. I jotted down what he said at the beginning. Um, he starts out with, You know, we've been telling you a long time about the fluoride, Jeffrey Epstein, super collider, cyclotrons. <laughs> what are you saying? What does any of that mean? Uh, if he's been messing around with us all this time, I might have to just hand it to him and be like, you know what, bro? You got us good. Here I was. I've done many segments where I like honestly and seriously respond to Alex Jones like, listen, bro, here's why that's wrong. Let me break it down for you. But if he's just messing with us the whole time, then I'm the sucker. <laughs> I'm the sucker for trying to respond to him in any serious way. They banned this guy off YouTube. They banned him. Listen, that I mean, that's... I get it. it. Hey, man, if you if you say people are getting direct threats of violence as a result of him, you know, 
calling Sandy Hook a hoax. And so the family members of the victims are getting harassed and getting direct threats of violence because of Alex Jones. Hey, bro, listen, that's a direct threat of violence. We all agree that's not acceptable. I would be fine with taking down those videos specifically. But you're not even going to allow Llama Alex Jones on YouTube? Not even Llama Alex Jones? I mean, this is just... I mean, this is just a work of art. I could watch Llama Alex Jones all day. <laughs> this, just, this just makes me smile. I just enjoy this. I have no idea what's going on in this guy's head, but... It looks like he maybe cut back a little bit on the booze. You know, maybe cut back a little bit on the coke skis. You know what I'm saying? And whatnot. So, you know, it is what it is, bro. Or as long as he, as long as he keeps the habits under control, then we get llamas. We get feeding them. We get fluoride and Jeffrey Epstein. Everybody's winning as far as I can tell. <laughs> 